Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. One of the greatest authors ever in the English language was Charles Dickens. He was a celebrity in his day. Many of his books were written in installments and he would give public readings of each installment of a book as he was writing them. And women used to scream and faint as he was giving his readings of his novels. Well, today we live in a very different age, but you know, still, if you read the novels of Charles Dickens, you can still grasp the power of the stories that he told. Some years ago, there were a couple of budget paperback publishers that began publishing uh, classic novels for one pound each. And I was on a very limited income at the time, but I would go into the bookshop every week and buy two or three of these classic novels and just read them. And I read through all the novels of, of Charles Dickens. And I had to, you know, somebody who loves to communicate myself, I just had to admit that I was in the hands of a master communicator when I was reading the novels of Charles Dickens. And one of his greatest and most popular novels, and it's been made into movies and everything else, is Great Expectations. The story of a young man called Pip and uh, what happens in his life as he grows up into becoming a man. And one of the characters in Great Expectations is called Mrs. Havisham. And Mrs. Havisham, as a young woman, was engaged to be married. She was in love. She was a wealthy young woman. And on her wedding day, as she was getting ready and getting into her wedding dress, she received a letter telling her that the man that she was in love with was a crook and had defrauded her and run off with most of her money and... Uh, that the wedding, of course, was not going to take place. And she was absolutely heartbroken by this. And so Mrs. Havisham uh, basically shut herself away in her house. She lived a life of seclusion. She, she kept the curtains closed, would never allow any outside natural light to come into the house. She used to wear her wedding dress every day. On the tables of the room where she would sit, her wedding cake was sat molding mouldering. The, the wedding presents were still sat there half opened from that morning and every clock in her house was stopped at 20 to 9, the hour of the morning at which she had received the news that her wedding was not to be. She was a woman in so much pain and she chose to share this pain with somebody else, not to have it but to increase it. And so she adopted a daughter called Estella, an orphan. And she brought this child up to be a heartbreaker. Now, we sometimes call somebody a heartbreaker because they're good looking. And Estella was good looking. But she was deliberately trained to break hearts, to beguile young men and then to abandon them and break their hearts. And one of the young men whose hearts were broken by Estella was young Pip, the hero of the story of great expectations. If you choose to nurse your pain and your hurt, if you ha choose to hang on to your pain and hurt, then you will end up making others hurting as well. You will pass on your pain and hurt to others. If you choose to hold on to anger, you will communicate that anger to others and they will be angry also. And there's too many angry people in the world today. Every time I look through social media, I am amazed at how many angry people there are. People who continually are posting to get angry at stuff and outraged at stuff and mocking people and insulting people. Angry all the time. And I think, what happened to you to make you so angry? And that kind of anger communicates itself to others and produces more angry people. So if you refuse to let go of your pain, you will pass that pain on to others. If you refuse to let go of your anger, you will pass that anger on to others. But you know what? If you choose to hold on to your blessings, if you choose to thank God for his goodness, if you choose to rejoice and rehearse the good things that God has done in your life, then you will also pass on blessing to others. Because you, you cannot dictate everything that happens in your life. You cannot dictate how other people will treat you. And sometimes people will treat you unfairly. And sometimes things will break your heart. 
You can't dictate whether that happens or not. You can't control that. But you can control what you dwell on. You can choose whether you dwell on your pain and your hurt or whether you dwell on the blessings of God. You can choose what you surround yourselves with you. Do you surround yourselves with all the memories of somebody who hurt you? Or do you surround yourself with the memories of a God who has blessed you? Because when you surround yourself with the blessing of God and hold on and, and cherish that your testimony of his blessing, then you will cause other people to be blessed also. And that's how God wants us to be as children of the living God. May God bless you today. Uh, may you have joy in following him. May you communicate blessing to others. And join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.